This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Kevin Roy. This is ABC 7 News, Sunday morning. This early hour time is 6 o'clock. I'm Stacy Bach along with Kevin Ryan. We're both wearing pink. And I know. And for Phil's Easter wearing Sunday, lavender. Let's check it with Phil. <laughs> and what's the forecast for this Easter Sunday, Phil? Uh, Kevin, Stacy, pretty few minutes. Stacy and Kevin. All right, Phil, thank you. Sure. In the news this Sunday, firefighters in the western suburbs rescued two people from a burning home early this morning. When they arrived on the scene, firefighters found flames shooting out the first and second floor windows. An older man was hanging out a second floor window with smoke pouring out around him. Firefighters brought the man down safely by ladder, and then they discovered an older woman in a back stairwell. There's been a string of gun violence in Chicago this past week. More than 40 shootings have happened since Wednesday. At least five people have been killed. Reginald Myers died yesterday. He was shot Friday near 69th and Paulina, just a half mile from a news conference where Chicago Police Superintendent Jody Weiss was talking about the violence. Chicago police say they are trying to curb violence by increasing efforts to target those using guns illegally. We have rest up our... Despite the latest violence, Chicago Police Department's latest crime stats show the crime is actually down 7.9%. Still no charges in the shooting death of a mayor in downstate Washington Park. That's a small village located about 10 miles east of St. Louis. The body of 52-year-old Mayor John Thornton was found inside his car Thursday morning after it crashed into a tree. Police say he'd been shot three times at close range. Thornton was returning home from a second job. Two persons of interest have been released from custody and the investigation is continuing. Gadget gurus are talking about getting their hands on Apple's new iPad. Many people waited for hours in the rain Saturday until the Apple store on Michigan Avenue opened at 9 a.m. Now the new device is a laptop that will play movies and some games, but there's no camera or physical keyboard. Still fans came from far away to get one. The iPad starts at $499. Later this month, a new version capable of getting online via AT&T's wireless network will go on sale as well, and that one starts at $629. Time right now is 6.07 and coming up on ABC 7 News Sunday morning, Christians around the world celebrating Easter today. Thousands gather for Easter Mass in St. Peter's Square this morning. ABC 7 News has learned that a veteran Chicago police officer is under investigation for allegedly making dozens of false DUI arrests and criminal charges may be coming soon. Now we've obtained surveillance video from one of those arrests showing Officer Richard Fiorito in action on the night shift. Here's ABC 7's Kevin Roy now with his investigative report. Because of all the complaints against him, Chicago police ordered Officer Richard Fiorito to use a surveillance system in his squad car back in March. What you're about to see is video from his squad car that will be used as evidence in a federal civil case against Officer Fiorito. To date, 21 people are part of the lawsuit. All say they were victims of his bogus DUI scheme. Been drinking tonight? I didn't ask you that. Have you been drinking tonight? This is dash cam video from Chicago police officer Richard Fiorito's squad car taken June 21st, 225 a.m. Other officers first came upon a man and his girlfriend sitting in their car after hours by the lakefront. And they call in Fiorito because he's had advanced training in making DUI arrests. Whatever you got in your mouth, again, get rid of it. That's the third time I told you. You understand me now? What Officer Fiorito wrote in his own police report is that this driver was so intoxicated he was unable to perform any of the standard field sobriety tests. Here he's told to walk a straight line, next to touch his finger to his nose with eyes closed, and finally to stand on one leg for 30 seconds, eyes closed. I've been doing DUIs since 1992, and I've never seen a subject do the one leg stand this well. Attorney John Erickson represents the man in the video and 21 others who are part of a federal civil suit against Officer Fiorito. Most, like Oscar Fiesel and Lex Leakes, claim Fiorito targeted them in the Boys Town neighborhood along North Halstead, following them after leaving gay bars. I feel like I was targeted because I was walking out of a bar and he needed to make a DUI arrest. And then he goes, oh, wow two strikes, you're black and you're fag, and told me that I was, based on my life, is going to be ruined because of this DUI. 
but both were found not guilty of DUI. The civil case charges that Officer Fiorito engages in a pattern of false arrests, then perjures himself in court testimony in order to rack up more than 300 DUI arrests per year. Mothers Against Drunk Driving awarded Fiorito for being the state's highest writer of DUI tickets. Are you proud of the DUI arrests that you've made over your career? I'm proud of everything I've done. We found Officer Fiorito after he just testified in another DUI case at the criminal courthouse, where he spends a lot of time, according to the lawsuit, being paid time and a half. The more DUI arrests that he makes, the more times that he has to go to court. The more times that he goes to court, the more money he makes. ABC 7 News has learned that Fiorito is also being investigated by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. A grand jury has been hearing from witnesses like Susan Kolinek, who is deaf and says Fiorito ignored her requests for a sign language interpreter. Nonetheless, he still ordered her to perform field sobriety tests. Close my, Close my eyes, tilt my head back, and, to verbal. and listen to verbal commentary. And I still told him, I'm deaf, I can't do that. And he laughed. Later he said, you're not deaf. You're just drunk. But her DUI charge was dismissed. In a statement, Fiorito's attorney says, the allegations are false, unfounded, and patently frivolous. And the allegations of targeting a group of individuals will be shown to be unsubstantiated. And to charges that perhaps you're targeting a single group of people, what would you say? No, I'm not. Two other Chicago DUI cops have been accused of similar DUI schemes in recent years. One was stripped of his police powers during his investigation. The other decided to retire and collect his pension rather than face impending charges. But even with dozens of complaints against him, Officer Fiorito is still out on the streets making DUI arrests. A Chicago Police Department spokesperson wouldn't say much about Fiorito, telling us only that he's under investigation by the Internal Affairs Division. And sources are telling us that criminal charges against him are expected and likely from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Kevin Roy, ABC 7 News.